This is part 16 of the Nothing Stuffing series. Go from 100 credits on a fresh account to the Titanium White Reaper. So make sure you are subscribed so don't miss an episode. 1k thumbs up for the next part. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. So I definitely need to get my bearings of what I'm doing because it's the first Nothing Stuffing I've recorded within like two weeks. Not even joking. But yeah, this obviously going to be the first trade of this episode. And yeah, I need to try and work out what we are doing, the method we're going for. But we've got nearly 20,000 credits. It's going to be the post updated with the pricing. And yeah, we've got some dice right there. And the rest... Isn't really looking that good. The main thing is the dice and all of the credits. But yeah, we are going to be shifting off. At what a trade this is going to be. A Tora for 100 credits. Is that? I'm pro yeah, pretty sure 100 credits. You can see on the spreadsheet right there. 100 credits at min. It's the max you're going to be getting realistically. It's probably the worst black market decal in the game. So yeah, I guess we'll take it. And I've been told many things of what the market's done in the past two weeks. But obviously this was recorded two, three weeks ago. So these clips may be a little bit outdated. I was in Germany for a week and... Pre-recorded a lot before that, so I'm very outdated on what's going on. But this is going to be the post. Looking pretty good. We've just taken out the tour, added the credits on top. Simple as that. And now we are going to be doing a little trade here, which is going to be for a Reaper. Now, this thing on the spreadsheet actually was popping off quite a bit. And it just seems to be getting rarer and rarer. Most expensive, like gold exposure from the Haunted Halo series. And yeah, when we're paying this sort of price, 300 credits under the minimum value, paying 900 when it's 1.2, we're definitely not going to say no. And then we have got ourselves quite the trade where we're going to be maxing out the credits as much as we can, selling the most expensive item, the painted titanium white dice. So this is going to be the post. Look for 3,000 credits, by the way, so keep that in mind. And always on the post, you want to say that you've got, what is it? You've got these items, you want credits. And if they're not offering credits, you want item overpay because this guy didn't have 3,000 credits. So we sorted out a nice little deal working in my favor. So first of all, the dice on the spreadsheet, we were looking for 3K, they're 3.1. Realistically, they haven't got that much demand right now, and we're getting ourselves 2.6k and a cheeky little dissolver, which on the spreadsheet right now I do believe is around 600. Always, it's going to be around 600 to 800 credits, regardless of what the market's doing. And yeah, we take it every day of the week, stacking up the credits, getting the most demanded black market decal, dare I say, in the whole entire game. We'll definitely take this. And after getting a trade like that, it's quite nice to just chill out and do a little basic trade just to make the quick and easy profit that way. But yeah, this is going to be the post. Looking very decent. Look at the credits we have got now. And obviously, a Reaper. We've got a Dissolve. We've got other stuff as well. Looking pretty decent. And yeah, we're going to be going for a Fennec. I know I say... Don't go for painted ones, but this is going to be the last one because grey, I don't think we've experimented before. This thing on the spreadsheet right now is 400 to 500, and I feel like it's a B-Tech white. So people that want the white, Fennec that don't have enough, might go for the grey. That's a slight advantage of getting this thing over like an orange or a saffron or a forest green, stuff like that. So yeah. Let's give it a go. Guaranteed 400 credits at least, though. So we'll just see how it goes. Honestly, don't even remember what we paid for these Mendozas. But back in the day, I think it was quite a bulk deal. And uh, yeah, it was worth doing at the time. And now we are finally shifting them off. Thank God. But yeah, this is going to be the post. Looking pretty decent, if I say so myself. Tons of credits. Got a Reaper. Got a Dissolver. We are chilling big time. And now we are going to be obviously selling the Mendozas. Which on the spreadsheet... They're not too bad, but most RLCS items absolutely do not sell anywhere near the spreadsheet value. So that's a little fact right there. And yeah, we're getting ourselves some cheeky little lime zombies, which on the spreadsheet, 400 to 500. Zombies have decent demand, like not as much as they used to, obviously. But titanium white are fantastic. Black are decent as well. The rest of the colors, a bit mediocre. But still, we will 100% take this. And I'll be honest, the regular Reaper definitely is an item I really don't go for, like on my main account at all. So yeah, definitely was a little bit weird going for this thing. But this is going to be the post. Really isn't going to change too much until later on in the episode where we experiment with so many different massive items. But yeah, getting ourselves items with the credits is literally the only option at this point because it's got a bit of demand, but nowhere near as much as I thought. So yeah, getting ourselves 950. Also getting ourselves a cheeky little non cray exotic. That's going to be the equalizer. Then we've got ourselves, yeah, the black overgrowth. I think that's what it's called from one of the old rocket parts. It's actually worth quite a bit in sales quite easily. So yeah, we'll definitely take that. And also a juice, which... Realistically, no matter what it says on the spreadsheet, it's always going to be 100 credits in maximum. It's so, so hard to sell. But yeah, once again, definitely not going to turn this down. And a certain painted black marker we pick up, you definitely want to check out. And if you want to check out some other Rocket League items for some cheap pricing, AOA.com has got you covered. Link in the description using code Zenic at checkout. Going to get you a cheeky little discount. But moving on to the next trade. Let me get track of what's going on. So obviously, this is going to be the post looking very, very decent. Now we stacked up the full entire post of items. It's what you want to do every single time you can, just because... That way you can sell items at like a maximum speed pretty much. Like you might be able to not sell the most expensive items straight away. But even selling loads of small items can definitely stack up the credits. And it looks pretty good. But yeah, we're selling some white OEMs. These things on the spreadsheet. Yep. They don't sell whatsoever. So getting ourselves the minimum value, which is 200 credits. You're not going to get more than that for these sort of words. Especially very rare rarity. Yeah, we'll definitely take it. And you know what? I think now would be the perfect time to push the boat out and go for a certain item. I'm definitely not confident in. But it's been non-stop popping off on the spreadsheet. So obviously this is going to be the post. It's looking same old, you know. We've not really updated it too much. Except from getting rid of the OEM. Chucking in more credits. Happy days. But we're going to be going for a paid sparkle. Now, 
Every single one, even Grey, I'm pretty sure, people are offering like 4,000 credits for, which, like, what is going on? I don't know what that's about. But yeah, we're going to be picking up a line one, which on the spreadsheet right now, I do believe it's 1.9 to 2.1. Not awful. And yeah, like I said, every single non-crate item, pretty much, especially Sparkle Boost, have been absolutely booming. It's paying 1.6k, 300 crates under the minimum value. Definitely can't complain. And despite the fact Sparkles aren't the easiest things to sell, like, you definitely need to have a lot of patience with them. They just are rising, though. So, you know what? We're going to go again and copy and paste, pretty much. So, this is going to be the post. Same with the Sparkles right there. We're looking for 1,950 between the mid and minimum value. It's a perfect range, especially for most non-crate items, especially, like, Zombas and occasionally for Octanes and stuff like that. Always a good value to actually go for if you actually are looking for buying and selling. But, yeah, yeah this one. We just can't say no to it. We're paying 1,500 credits and also chucking in a random equalizer, which is realistically about 70 to 100 credits. So once again, similar pricing to get another line one. I just feel like, you know, taking this gamble, if I can get around 4,000 credits for both of them, that is a lot of profit in like, in such a small amount of trades. That's three trades right there. So yeah, let's take the gamble. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I literally made a single video on this item back in the day because it was that good. But yeah, I don't think it's as good as it used to be. But this is the post. Once again, looking pretty good. Haven't got the complete post stacks up. But yeah, we are aiming to get that every single time. Just so we've got as many items listed as possible. But yeah. We're going to be going for an item which once had demand, like, I'm pretty sure it's worth 4,000 credits at one point. It's going to be the Cobalt Stride Tide. Now, you, you can actually make a really cool design of this car, hence the prize, because this thing is going to be over 2,000 credits on the spreadsheet. So, hopefully, we can get around 2K for this thing. We're chucking in, I'm pretty sure, Dissolver. A few other items which just weren't selling. We've got, obviously, the Fedic right there. Big mistake going for that thing. Got a regular Zombers, all those Lime Zombers, like I said. We've got the Fundamentals. Yeah, fundament and then, also, that Overgrowth wasn't selling whatsoever. So, yeah, let's take the gamble and go for it but now the items have definitely disappeared from the inventory quite a bit like we're just sitting on a couple of them you can see on the post right there we're just sitting with the sparkles we got that decal and then we got a few other items which aren't really going to sell that easily and next up forgot to even put a credit on there uh on the little post right there but it's going to be the juice which realistically you're not going to get much out of it i'm pretty sure we get ourselves is it around 100 credits? 120. All right. We take that every day of the week because I probably would take 100 right this second just to get more credits in. That way, there's more way of making profit than credits. But yeah, definitely not going to say no. And at this point in time, the sensible thing to do is definitely shift off one of the sparkles. You know, having two of them, the exact same paint color, not going to get us anywhere whatsoever. I know that well, obviously one of them, cert, that's why they're not stacking. But yeah, looking at the post. You can see right there, we are not, like, left for credits whatsoever. We've had, we've got a ton of credits, but getting over the 20k mark, it just, I need to get it done. It just is a thing like that. And obviously, we're getting ourselves 1,770 and also a regular Reaper. That might be 100 credits in the long run. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, definitely can't complain of how this episode's gone. So, with over 20,000 credits pure right now, a painted sparkle boots and one of the best looking black markets, you do not want to miss part 17. So, make sure you're subscribing if you are new so you don't miss out. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon.